असलम एंड वेलकम टू माई ग्रेट टू स्टूडेंट्स हेयर इज़ योर इंग्लिश टीचर मिस आयशा डियर स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज टेक आउट योर ओक्स फॉर रीडिंग सर्कल एंड ओपन एड्स कॉन्टेंट पेज टूडे वी विल रीड चैप्टर टू दैट इज रूबीज गार्डन and it is on page number 12 so let's move to page number 12 first of all write today date on the top left corner of the page that is 12th may 2020 write c o w in the mid and write tuesday in the top right corner of the page that is tuesday so today we will read a story that is ruby's garden first of all i will tell you the summary of the story the story is about a little girl named ruby It was the end of the Ruby's first day at her new school. Ruby's mother named Mrs. Dibbins was waiting for her at school gate. When she saw her mother, she ran up and gave her a big hug. So did her mother. Ruby's mom asked her about her first day at school and did she like her new teacher? Ruby replied by nodding her head. Then her mother asked her, "What you did in school today?" Ruby said, "We write our names on sticky labels." Then her mother asked, "What you did then?" She said, "We stayed in the garden all day." In the garden. Mother surprised. Ruby said, "Yes." In the evening, Ruby's father came home. And her mother spoke to him, "Do you know Ruby's class spent the whole day in the garden?" "No, really?" Mrs. Tibbins also looked surprised. He said, "Perhaps they were studying plants." Her mother said, "I don't think so. I shall go and talk to Mrs. Thomas. Mrs. Thomas is Ruby's teacher." Next day, Ruby's mom spoke to her teacher. She said that Ruby told me that she spent her first day of the school in the garden. Mrs. Tibbins laughed and said, I told the children yesterday that we are going to call our classroom the garden. Mrs. Dibbin surprised and then laughed. Then Ruby's mother met Ruby's friends. Their teacher called them by names of some flowers. Mrs. Dibbin and Mrs. Thomas laughed and laughed. The girls laughed too. means ruby didn't spend her day in the garden actually she was in the class and her teacher named her class the garden okay so i hope it was interesting for you now let's see some difficult words in the chapter so look here page number 12 the word is laughing underline this word laughing next one chatting 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 mean talking in a friendly way next waving 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 mean moving hands or arms from side to side next nodded nodded 
nodded mean lowered or raised one's head quickly look at the next page this is sticky 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 mean covered in glue pointed 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 mean showing direction of something label 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 means a piece of paper giving information here label was giving the information about girls names turn the page replied 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 mean answer replied mean answer surprised 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 mean feeling wonder surprised mean feeling wonder naughty the next word is naughty naughty mean mischievous naughty mean mischievous look at the next page worried 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 mean upset next word is cross 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 mean angry cross mean angry the next word is shook shook mean move moved ruby shook her head means ruby moved her head okay turn the page here are names of some flowers violet violet rose rose poppy poppy iris iris jasmine jasmine daisy daisy so now read the lesson at home we have already underlined difficult words so you will not find any difficulty in reading this chapter so read it at home the difficult words at least 3 times and try to learn their spellings in the next lesson we will do written work of this chapter and we will do vocabulary words and words meaning till then take care of yourselves and allah hafiz